Welcome back to another episode of Creating Process Tree. We're back with another graphic design tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to create all these cover designs using AI tools. So we're going to use a Kittle platform to create this design. So Kittle works inside your browser. Okay, it consists of fonts, illustration, library, pre-made templates, advanced editing tools, and much more. And with AI directly integrated with the editor, Kittle is the only platform that delivers unmatchable speed of seamless workflow, allowing users to create wonderful vector design within a matter of minutes. So you can try it yourself and get free access by clicking the link in the description. You can use the promo code create and process and it will give you 50% discount on a monthly pro plan for all new users. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can use Kittle uh, editor. Uh, so this is a platform design platform where you got some amazing online editor editing capabilities like over here i have generated these images and created this cover using Kittle tool. As you can see, the interface is very simple over here. If you click, you got the artboard size where you can choose the standard sizes or you can customize over here. Secondly, over here, you got all the tools like my projects, templates, text, elements, upload, photos, textures. So all these, you got a bundle of photos, you got textures, you got elements and much more. So these are texts, this is elements. So on elements, you can find your desired element. You got all these default elements, right? But if you want some orna ornaments like design, you want an illustration design, you want an abstract design, you can find it uh, in their library or you can just search it over here or you can generate it using Kittle AI. You can generate images similar to this. Just type out a simple word and you can generate amazing quality image style. You can generate clip art style. You can generate vector style. You can generate pattern style. I find it very interesting to use it. I hope you also like it and uh, you can even upload images. So if I go over here, so under upload, you can see all the images you have uploaded and these are all the images you have generated. So I have generated almost 224 photos. Under elements, you have understood. Under text, you got this heading, you got this paragraph and all these other styles. And under this, templates, you got some amazing templates. Card template, teacher template, poster design. So this is a second book cover design we have created using Kittle AI and all the other attributes. And now let's uh, generate a few more images and create this third design, this cover design. So it's also very simple. Let's try to recreate it. So I'm going to add a new project. Let's set the dimension similar to our previous one, 900 by 1300 and create. Now let's generate some images. So I'm going to generate an image similar to this. So we got to see two kids age around maybe 12 or 13, one boy, one girl. So let's describe it standing on a door okay something like that and color is blue and yellow so let's type our text two kids boy and girl age 13 and 14 wearing school uniform standing in front of the door and what we can see on this image is uh, there's a lamb on top and the color scheme is yellow and blue let's type that let's try to generate so I'm going to choose an effect uh, let's choose something like this one and let's create okay so as you can see, it has generated an image and it looks great. It looks amazing. But as you can see, I have put some age. So I wrote 13 and 14 and it looks fine. But let's reduce the age to around, let's say, 9 and 10. And I want the boy to be wearing a specs. Okay, let's see. And here we go. The second image is also generated. Let's look other stuff from here. Let's choose this one let's select digital art and let's try to recreate under one and compare the images between the three images we're going to choose the best one and so here we go this is a little bit realistic we want some cartoony feel generate image so here's our third image the ai generated and this also looks great let's choose some different style let's select this one and again generate it okay the last image looks great it's the exact image we want. I want to use this. Let's delete the rest of the images. All the images are amazing. So let's choose this one. I'll just delete this. And this one, we'll place it around here. And let's scale up the size. Now, if you see our design, you can see uh, we have masked it inside a human figure. We can mask it. So I'm going to go to elements and we got these basic shapes. We got some mask shapes, banners. So on a mask, you got all these shapes here. So let's choose shape that we want for our design. So we got a circular shape, rectangular, heart, cloudy, fire, and lots more. So let's drag down it. So for this design, I want a head shape. So we got a skull shape. We got an eagle. 
and let's find that human shape so here it is so if i click and here we go so we'll just let's scale up the size and place it around here right and after that select the image and drag and drop it on the image and here we go select the shape and let's increase the size of the image set it around here select the shape now and let's increase it overall here let's reduce the size a little bit and here we go now select the background and uh, fill it up with the similar color make it darker something like this yes or you can use the eye picker tool and pick a color make it a little bit fader or maybe a little bit darker something like that you can even give a gradient to this so if you feel like it's plain you can just go in there and choose a gradient right and make it brighter on top and darker on the bottom now on top it's fine but on the bottom we need to fill up this gap so we will use a gradient so I'm gonna use the shape tool and place it around here and scale up the size right and let's apply gradient color so I'm gonna choose gradient color from here let's choose the same colors right and I'm gonna remove remove the opacity from one of the shape right something like this and we'll just move around and filling up that region and here we go and you can just go in and adjust the colors so I'm gonna choose this color and make it a little bit more darker just to blend it over here region once you are done with the images we'll add a text so I'll go to text and we'll go to title under title click on show all and let's choose a nice title for this so I feel like this title looks great and just click on it and we got that let's change the color to white just to see it and now I'll just bring it on top over here and scale up the size and now let's type out our title so for this design we need the title the secret ingredient book cover okay so let's go in there so if you go for here and under layer you can see this group just go in there and you can individually select the text so select it right the secret ingredient let's increase the size reduce the size a little bit and then we'll increase the size of this select these two and arrange it in the center and now we'll do some adjustment with the fonts it's a morgan and we got some effects over here gifs so i'll just go in and select this and if you go over here you can change the font over here but you can do some a little adjustment if you go over here g l y p h clips you can see some uh, font styles so what i need is i need to give some different style to the eye so for i i j i'll select this okay and for s select the s and choose different style for s so b s here i got this s and if you want to add some t as well so we can choose it from here t as well so we got a t and here we go scale on size select them both align them scale on the size now i'll just type out other text cover select this rest of text and i just drag it down on bottom and we'll just type command all G R A P H I C graphic made in K I T T L kettle and we'll make sure the image is a little bit darker so select the image and we'll go to the here and click on show all and reduce the brightness a little bit let's go in there and see what we have done so we made sure brightness is 25 contrast is minus 25 and saturation minus 25 let's see selecting that okay so we'll reduce the brightness contrast and the saturation a little bit just to make it a little bit blend it something like this and let's zoom it out so here we go our third cover design is also done so you can see we have used multiple tools and option inside kettle we have used kettle ai we have used uh, kettle elements text and much more so this is our third design this is our second cover design and this is our first cover design each of them have been created inside kettle using ai text and the layers and all the attributes in the next row i'll be working on t-shirt design so just follow along and i hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on design you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel